Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Rahma Santi Zinaida. I'm from Universitas Bina Dharma, Palembang, South Sumatra, Indonesia. I would like to present my paper with the title Identity and Cultural Shock of Foreign Student in Palembang. As in intro introductions, many students fulfill their aspiration by studying outside of their home countries. A numerous Malaysian student attend Sriwijaya University and Medical Faculty in Palembang City. The differences in cultural background between local student and foreign student in Palembang result in intercultural communication between them when they are interacting. Many things need to be considered in communicating and interacting in different cultures. Pluralism is a reality that occurs in human life in Indonesia, especially in this era of globalization. Social life in Indonesia, intercultural encounter are something that is almost unavoidable. The larger number of foreign arriving in Indonesia makes Indonesia diversity is getting bigger. There are so many Malaysian Indian people that continue their studies, especially in Palembang, Indonesia. Instead of speaking Malaysia, they try to speak in Indian language. It's more comfortable for them. For the research background, differences in cultural background have a strong influence on the emergence of anxiety and uncertainty which has the potential to cause, to cause misunderstanding, which become obstacle in the process of adaptation in intercultural communication. Intercultural communication competence is an important aspect in the adaptation process, there's a culture shock inside the adaptation process. And that's, uh, in this paper, we will talking more about the cultural shock and intercultural communication. According to the aforementioned statistic that you can see in the slide, 69.9% of Malaysian were Bumi Putra, 22.8% were Chinese, and 6.6% were Indian as of July 2022. Others are, tho are those who not belong to any of these three main ethnic group in Statista in 2022. The fact is, Palembang is a home to a large number of Malaysian students. A disease will affect someone who moved abroad and this illness is known as a culture shock. Differences in cultural background have a strong influence on the emergence of anxiety and uncertainty which has the potential to cause misunderstanding. Communication and culture are two inseparable entities. Different cultures will have a different way of interacting with other people. For the theory, I use ICC theory. ICC theory is about due to the increasing diversity of culture in societies that host individuals from various nations for work or study. The concept of ICC has received increasing attention for, for researchers from communication. The second is dramaturgy theory. Every government portrays public activity in the public eye as a similitude for a show stage or theater craftsmanship that is included in front of an audience. The third is ethnic boundaries. Ethnic boundaries by Bart formulations define that people's sense of belonging to ethnic group is contingent on the situational maintenance of boundaries, which can be caused in a variety of ways, including by individual and subgroup shifting their ethnic identities. For the methods, this research is using phenomenological approach Key informants are six students from Malaysia who study in bachelor program in Faculty of Medicine, Sriwijaya University, Palembang, Indonesia. The data source are the subject of the research who, from whom or how the data can be obtained. The general research questions are how the intercultural communication is used in the process of adapting. For the result, you can see in the slide, the figure one is stress adaptation growth dynamic. Two, aspects, two aspects of stress adaptation growth dynamic must be emphasized from Kim's explanation. First, a newcomer will have a trouble adapting to the new environment. This will depend on how well they are able to deal with the new cultures, both process, 
the ups and downs of the first one will eventually lead the growth that makes it easy for someone to interact with local where they are now. The first uh, obstacles that happen with the culture shock is about language barrier. Language is truly the heart of human interaction. Language is an important aspect of intercultural communication. Through language, a person learns the value and behavior of his cultures and other cultures. Uh, the foreign student from Malaysia in the end, when they first come to Palembang, they have an obstacle in language. They try to use a Malaysian or a Malayu language, but seems that people in Indonesia, especially in Palembang, doesn't um, doesn't know or um, doesn't know the meaning of the language in uh, detail. So they they try to use English, but somehow people in Palembang also didn't. Uh, know much about the uh, English because somehow uh, English is not, is not our second language but they try to speak in Malaysian and um, from the from the language they can learn also how to speak in Indonesian the second thing is issues between countries as we know Malaysia and, and Indonesia is a very close countries in cultures uh, religions um, history and there's so many things that are actually the same thing. Maybe like the food, the clothes, uh, the physical look, and many so on. But somehow issues about conflict uh, usually can also happen. The foreign student um, searching first about what is the difference between Indonesia and Malaysia that can be one of the cause to make an issue or conflict. The third one is... Adaptation. Even though they already have a preparedness, in the end, someone is certainly undergoing an adaptation process. They are familiar with the Muslim in Malaysia, so that they are particularly concerned about Palembang Muslim population. Adaptation was a big issue for their foreign student. The fourth is interaction. When they spoke Indian language, they seemed enthusiastic and excited. If you want to ask them, it's better to straight to the point. Um, and they will talk uh, and they will answer it very clearly. But because you talk too long, they will uh, more less talk than you ask to. They will immediately show an unpleasant expression. But in fact, they're not a person like that. The foreign student is um, basically a very calm and very friendly people. But somehow they're just a group of person that very shy and shocked with the new interaction process in the, the new countries that they have to continue their study. Cultural differences that are actually not too significant even make this foreign student choose word or reduce interacting and talking with friends from Palembang or even other countries outside Indonesia. For the conclusion, the adaptation process that was demonstrated by all the, the foreign student is fairly diverse, gradual and complex. They might find the adaptation process to be quite taxing. They believe that Palembang's religious tolerance is sufficient for them. However, when they are first moved there, they have the impression that they must be accepted by the majority of Muslim residents. As a result, they attempt to integrate uh, into Muslim cultures. They attempt to speak Palembang as a first step, despite the complexity. However, they believe that they are if they are succeed, the surrounding community will accept them. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you enjoy my presentation. Uh, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.